Now I have Tony Edel from the Warriors to explain the tackle tech. How are you, Tony? Great. Improving, how are you? Very yeah, good, mate. So the fundamentals of the tackling, mate? Yeah, as you said, it's an important part of the game um, and probably one that we neglect a bit because it's also the toughest part of the game. Um, but we'll look at a number of tackle techniques today. Um, but basic technique, we want to think about a few things. Mm. Uh, first of all, we want to be nice and square to, with our defensive line. Okay, so we're nice and square onto on when the attackers are coming to us. All right, we want to have our hands up. All right, yep. We don't know where that runner's going to come mm -hmm. from, so we want our hands up all the time. Head up nice and tall. All right, get your head down, your neck down, you, that's when you get injuries. All right, and then as we, as we approach the attacker, nice short steps towards them. Try and create a little angle towards them so we can get same shoulder, same yep. leg, and then we go for it. We're going to give us some demos, mate? Let's go and get the boys and uh, have a practice. Awesome. So basic tackle technique. Um, a lot of things we've got to be thinking about. The first one, we're going to be nice and square along our, our defensive line. All right? The other thing we've got to be thinking about is getting off the line quick. All right, we've got two attackers in front of us. I know they're coming to me at speed. We want to be going, going to meet them with, the, with equal speed as well. All right? The reason we stay nice and square, the player comes towards me, if he's going to pass the ball, I can make a decision to push out on him. If he holds the ball, then I'm in good position to make that tackle. So as we go back, the other things we need to be thinking about, all right? Square, line speed, hands up, head nice and tall, all right? Don't be going in crouch, that's how you get injured. So we stand nice and tall, all right? So walking through, nice and square as long as we can. He can't pass the ball. As I approach the target, I want to get my legs and steps really short, all right? Because as we get to approach the target, we want a nice base from where we can make our tackle, all right? If we're too wide, I'm on a, I'm a real dangerous position. I get pushed off, I get, could, could get hurt, all right? So as we approach our target, short steps, hands up, head up, and then we're driving through the legs, all right? A lot of defenders bend their back, all right? That's how we can get bumped off. That's another reason how we can hurt our neck as well. So we drive through the legs, okay? Nice stable position. As he comes in, then I can drive through. Okay? Let's have a go. So we're nice and square. Hands are up. We want to meet them with speed. Walking through, nice and square as long as you can. Nice drive. Next. Good. Nice and square. Hands up. Stay as square as long as you possibly can. That's good. Good stuff. Keep thinking those basic things. Nice and square. Get off the line quick. Hands up. Stand nice and tall. Drive through the legs. Don't bend your back. Remember, small steps as you approach the target. Square as long as you can. Good. Try and keep their head up. Keep their head up, drive through the legs. Good stuff. Nice. Good hit. Notice that extra power you get when you're driving through those legs. Good stuff. Keep Make sure you get those short steps in as you approach the attacker. Nice. Same shoulder, same leg. Very good. Couple more. Right, the side on tackle. Really important that in the side on tackle, usually the guy that we're trying to tackle is moving at, at a good speed. Okay, it's usually one of those fast guys in the outside backs. Okay, really important things we need to be thinking about. First of all, we need to be standing as tall as we possibly can. All right, thing about wingers and centers is you, you've usually got a good fend on them. So if he puts a fend out and I go too early, there's a big chance I'm gonna end up kissing the ground. All right, the other reason we wanna stand tall is we wanna get as close to the attack as we possibly can. So if he comes out and he brings a fend out, I can push it down. Now my target line is the center of gra gravity, okay? His, his backside basically. And if I'm nice and close, it means I've got a good opportunity to get a good drive in my legs, okay? And if I've got a good drive in my legs and my hands can link and pull, then I'm on good chance of winning and landing on top, okay? So 
So we'll practice that. Let's go. Bimo, you can jump in first to tackle. So we'll just walk it through. Hands up. Late as you possibly can. Nice. Drive through with the legs. All right, we want to try and end up on top. Stay tall as long as you possibly can. Where you go. Hands up. Nice. Make sure our head ends up on, on the outside of where we're tackling. Nice. Keep going. Keep rolling through. Good. Right, now we're going to do the tackle from behind. Okay, so same principles as a side-on tackle. Okay, a little bit more difficult because the guy's right in front of you. Okay, and we've got to get him to the ground as quickly as we can. All right, so on this little drill, I'm going to play the ball and then my mate here is going to do a dummy half run and I'm going to chase him from behind. Okay, a few things you want to be thinking about, all right? We're lining up our target again, okay? From whichever side I approach, my head's got to end on that side, okay? So in this case, I'm approaching from my left, okay? So my head should end up on that side. My target line again is around his hips, okay? Obviously, if he's a fast man, anything will do. All right, we want to stop him from scoring a try, okay? But come back again. So just walk forward. My target line is his hips. All right, thinking about head on the side. All right, same again. We need to take those legs out from him quickly and then stay there. All right, a lot of times on, on behind tackles, all right, you're not going to get a chance to get up at marker quickly. So it's important you can lay there as quickly as you can, give some time to your, for your defender to get back. Then we can make a decision on whether we can get to marker or not. Okay? So, on the other side, same again. This time my head needs to be on, on his inside, okay? Same again, my target line's here. Take him out, lay there, push off. Okay, let's have a go. Thanks. Just walk it through. Nice. Next one. Walk it through. Target line. Don't leave your ground too early. You want to get it nice and close to the, the attacker. Or as close as you possibly can. Try and get those arms together, okay? Try and get when you wrap those arms, guys, try and get them, make sure they're meeting together. Very good. Let's speed up a little, just a little bit of a jog. Nice. Eyes on the target. Try and go a little bit higher if you can. Okay, so sometimes in a game of league, uh, defensively, we might not be set all the time, okay? So sometimes we're going to have a defender come to us when we're not, when we're not really set, okay? We haven't had the opportunity to get forward. We're basically standing still. We're pretty much static, okay? And we're going to talk about the roll tackle, okay? The roll tackle is basically when, as I said, you're stuck on your line with an attacker coming aggressively at you. And what, what's the best scenario for me? You can't get forward because he's almost on top of you. So the be next best scenario is actually to use his momentum to try and get some advantage. So as the tagger comes towards me, I'm not moving forward, so I've got no momentum. There's a big chance I'm going to go, going to go backwards. All right, let's try and take advantage of it. All right, I've still got to stand nice and tall. All right, I can't be bending my, if I bend like this with no momentum, it's a big chance he's going to knock me off. All right, so I need to get low, low center gravity, bend my legs as he comes towards me. I use his momentum now to carry back. All right, now, that's the best possible scenario if I can roll on top. Okay, so it's a roll tackle. Go again. We're using his weight, okay, and the momentum to actually roll him over. All right, so he's coming towards me, back straight. Okay, let's have a go at that. Let's 
Stand on the line, head up nice and tall, roll, nice. Rima, run a ball for us, mate. Keep going, keep rolling in. Just stand on the line. Use his weight to roll him over. Remember, keep your back nice and straight. You've got to keep your legs bent, all right? That'll, that'll prevent injuries. Nice. Keep rolling in. Keep your head up. Don't bend. Don't bend at your back, okay? Bend your knees. Keep your back nice and straight. Good. Right, we've looked at um, some tackle techniques today. Um, we're also going to look at how we how we actually carry the ball into contact. Um, a really important part because uh, in today's rugby league, we're actually getting as many injuries carrying the ball as we are um, defending. All right. So a couple of things we need to be thinking about is when we receive the ball, is trying to catch the ball how we want to pass it. All right. We can catch the ball right when we pass it and it's right out in front of us. It gives us an advantage straight away over the defenders, all right? Because they don't know whether we're going to run or pass the ball, all right? So all of a sudden, we've got them in two minds. Okay, secondly, we need some support. So if we've got some support on the inside of us and on the outside of us, it's also another couple of things that the defenders have to think about. All right, as I approach the defensive line, all right, and I'm not going to pass the ball, there's a couple of things I need to be thinking about. If I'm going to be running like this, there's a big chance I'm not passing it, and there's a big chance two or maybe three of them can come and whack me. Uh, and if I've got three guys running at pace of me, it's a big chance I might get hurt, all right? So as we approach the line, we've got the ball in the position of where we're able to pass it, either on the inside or the outside. As we approach our defenders, we want to be looking to use some footwork, all right? Not running at faces, we want to be looking at spaces, okay? So as we approach the, approach the line, some late footwork, all right? As we get to the line, we need to protect the ball and we need to protect ourselves, all right? We've got the ball in a position to pass. Now we can just roll it, roll our wrist, all right? Hook it into the chest, hook it into the chest and wherever that arm, whether you're going to use it over a fend, okay, which takes one defender out or you use it to protect, all right? And that way, if we're running through a space with footwork through the line, coming defenders, okay, I've got protection over the ball I've got protection over the ball, and I'm looking to go and find my front. Okay? Right, boys. <laughs> so let's just try that. Rima? Okay, hands out in front. All right, as you approach the line, look to run at spaces and protect. Rima, you can jump in D next. You can jump in D next. Get another D. Now we've got two more defenders, just jump in. Hands out in front. Nice, good stuff. Remember. Remember with the ball, okay, it's out, out the way you want to pass it, okay? So as soon as you're going to come into contact, you need to roll it. This now becomes your guard, all right? This come, becomes your protection. All right, so it's, it's from a carry where you can pass to a roll where you can protect. Okay, so there's a real hard part of the body. Okay, and if it comes in contact with the defender, sometimes it'll hurt them rather than you. Alright, so ready to pass, roll, protect. Nice. Couple more. One more. Sometimes we may not understand what the referees are talking about with how they see the tackle. 30% of injuries come from illegal tackles. Here's Leon Williamson to take us through. Bruce, any uh, contact to the head, even if it comes off the ball, is worthy of a penalty. Any blatant shoulder charge, head eye tackle, grass cutter, or lifting to a dangerous position will result as a send off. This is deemed to be intentional. Referees are advised that any intentional foul play such as contact with a head, shoulder charge, grass cutter or lift into a dangerous position is to start as a send-off offence and to work back to a sin bin or other action. 